Has it really been a hundred years? In 1927, even the Queen joined. When guiding started, we were relevant to what girls needed at that time. They weren't allowed to run, they weren't allowed to lift their hands above their heads. Their mothers thought they needed to learn home skills, so that is what guiding was. We now have around 10 million girl guides in countries all over the world. These are our friends from Europe, Africa, Asia and China. We often invite girls from other countries to come to our events and we're invited to their events as well, which makes the international aspect very exciting. It's a modern movement for girls. We start with rainbows, then it's brownies, guides, senior section, and then hopefully they progress on to being a leader at 18. We're a girl-only um, organisation. We always have been since 1909 and we intend to continue. To mark 100 years of girl guiding, we've been getting involved in fun activities as part of our Adventure 100 challenges. We do all sorts of different activities. The girls recently have done high ropes, they do climbing, sailing, camping, we do outdoor cooking, we do indoor cooking, we do uh, games, we do uh, with mountain biking, we help in the community, anything the girls want to do. Learn new skills, make new friends and they benefit so much from it. It's a break from school and we're not bossing them about like teachers if they get to be their own individual. I think it's like meeting up with your best mates, so like if your mates come then you can like spend time with them and have a laugh. Yeah, and going on all trips. And... Yeah, all camps and trips and stuff. And it's fun. I enjoy um, making stuff and going out on trips. All on Towers was really good um, because we got to get on the rides first before everyone else and um, we had a really good time with our friends and stuff. I didn't go there. <laughs> <laughs> we have the big gig each year where we go to um, a big arena with 15,000 other guides and we get all the big bands in um, to perform for us and we've seen lots and lots of big bands scouting for girls and all sorts of different things and that's a really exciting event. I enjoy working with the rainbows because they, they change so much from five to seven. They really develop as, as little people. <laughs> I love being a brownie leader because I see them growing confidence from when they come as rainbows when they're seven and they don't know many people and they make friends and by the time they leave the guides they're more confident, they're able to speak to more people. I really enjoy coming to guides each week. It's very nice to see them um, progress and to, to grow, to come in as little girls and go out as young women. Find out more about girl guiding or join the club at www.girlguiding.org. Now we've successfully completed this film, we can now get our Catch the Moment badge. Yeah!